Good morning everybody and welcome to Jim's 5am club and uh, today I come to you from uh, good old Sydney town and I'm down here at uh, the Campbell's, the Campbell's storehouse which used to be uh, the storage facility for wool uh, back in the uh, 1800s before it got shipped overseas to, uh, to England and, and other places throughout the world. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go for a bit of a walk and talk. It's, a, uh, it's an unusual morning. It's a little bit overcast. The breeze is coming from the south, which, is, which causes the, uh, the weather to be a little bit uh, messy. Um, it's a bit cooler than normal. But it's another glorious day we're going to make the most of it and uh, we'll come in at a different angle over here we've also got the uh, the offices here which have been around for for many many years Metcalf Bond not sure what they actually did but when I see old photos of Sydney this building here seems to have been one of the original one of the original buildings around here. Anyway, there you go, you can see the Harbour Bridge and you can see the breeze coming from the south. Uh, so let's, let's walk and talk. And I'm rapidly approaching my 300th vlog. I'm just so chuffed with myself, I just can't believe that I've been able to uh, pump out as many vlogs as quickly as I can but uh, it's amazing what you can do once you set yourself a goal and uh, a timeline and and stick to it religiously on a daily ba basis what I want to do today is I want to take you through a book summary a book that I read many many years ago it's amazing you just never know which book you're going to read which is going to have a lasting effect and a significant impact on your life and you never know by looking at the author by looking at the title whether that book is going to be of value at all it's only once you pick it up and you read it and I do recall reading somewhere that 90% uh, or well, 95% of books aren't read past the first chapter so there's a lot of there's a wealth of knowledge out there which goes absolutely wasted through people's inability to uh, persist and stick to it but this book that I'm going to talk about today is uh, highly recommended it was highly recommended to me throughout my uh, career by many people it's a small book it's a simple book and it's written by an author that not too many people would know about. Sadly, he passed away a number of years ago, and every time I hear the news of uh, an author or a motivational speaker who passes away, I just reminisce and say, you know, these people came onto the earth, made an impact, and moved on, but their message, their message continues to resonate in their uh, written material, in their uh, in the people who they've influenced, and uh, it's quite inspiring, actually, that uh, nothing goes to waste. And uh, I'll uh, just take you through some of the the learnings that I got out of out of this magnificent book. And the book is called "The Greatest Salesman in the World." As I said, it's a small book. And uh, let me just say before I continue, you know, the value of reading is cannot be surpassed or cannot be overemphasized. I remember reading a whole book once and just underlining one sentence. So, you know, just think about it. Now, reading a 300 page book only to get, pick out of it one point. But that one point could be a learning that could uh, stitch together 
a lot of loose ends that we have in our lives. So it's up to each and every one of us to, uh, to read as much as we can and to piece together our knowledge and our wisdoms in order to, uh, to get it, to get it one day. So as I said, you know, reading will, uh, will attach the unknown to the known, but sometimes reading a whole book and just pulling out just one piece of knowledge could be enough just to allow you to stitch all the loose ends together and get a holistic view on uh, some topics which are quite empowering in our lives. So, Og Mandino wrote the book, The Greatest Salesman in the World, and he wrote it in an interesting style. He didn't write it as a narrative or anything. He basically wrote it as a mystical um, grouping of scrolls which um, you know, gives you that impression that it's uh, ancient wisdom or it's something that has been found in a pyramid or something like that, which adds to the appeal, I must admit, because we're all looking, we're all looking for the magic bullet. We're all looking for something to uh, help us all. And I guess the important thing is to understand is that there is no magic bullet. Uh, each and every one of us have to do the best with what we've got in our lives and to, uh, to learn, to live and to pass it on. So, uh, um, so Og Mandino in his book, The World's Greatest Salesman, talks about a number of things. Um, and uh, I worked in sales, so um, throughout my life, I've, uh, I've dabbled, or you know, I've spent times, some, spent some time in sales, and I've spent a lot of time supporting sales teams in the 35 years that I worked in uh, in corporate Australia. So I've either been selling things, or I've been supporting people who have been involved with sales and, and massive, massive deals. And the challenge, challenge of every salesperson is to stay motivated and to keep on going in times which are tough, where you, know, you get knocked back more than what you, you, know, you hear the word no more than what you hear the word yes. So it's a very important thing to be uh, resilient and to be able to bounce back as a salesperson because as I said, and as, as I alluded to, you're going to hear the word no a lot more than what you're going to hear the word yes. And for a lot of people, you know, uh, not being popular or not being able to uh, get their point, point across or get the deal over the line would, uh, would absolutely destroy them. But uh, in order to be a great salesperson, you need to put that behind you and you just need to keep on going, keep on knocking on the doors, because you never know which door and which uh, proposal is going to be the one that uh, is a breakthrough and takes you to the next level. So some of the points which came out of the book, let's just stick to the book now, um, uh, uh, is the concept of rewards. The reason why rewards are great and the reason why salespeople get rewarded so handsomely is because there is a lot of effort and struggle that's required in order to get to, uh, to the end, to get, to get the yes and to get the sale. So, uh, you know, if, if, it was, if it wasn't a struggle, if our life wasn't a struggle, and if we didn't go through that struggle, then we wouldn't enjoy life or the rewards as much if everything was easy and if all we had to do was just to be an order taker then uh, then you know, the sales activity would be completely boring as well and everybody could do it so in order to be the best at whatever you're, you're doing requires effort and requires you to commit yourself uh, completely to it the other thing that Og talks about in his book is the importance of time 
He says that uh, all of us have an allotted time in our lives and we need to make the most of that time. And especially as a salesperson, you've got so many leads, so many customers, so many things to focus on at the same time. You need to be very, very good at allocating time to uh, ensure that you're productive and that you're getting the most of your time. Because if you're not, you may end up you know, spending a lot of time on things which are not going to lead you anywhere um, and just create disappointment after disappointment. So uh, what Og talks about there is the importance of understanding time and being focused, being extremely focused on what you're doing to ensure that you're making the most of your time. He also makes a point there that bad habits will unlock, unlock the door to failure and that you need to be a slave to good habits. So uh, that's a very important point for all the young people in the world that uh, you need to be able to uh, reflect on your life, reflect on what you do and to be able to identify and separate the good habits from bad habits and to try and mirror and learn from people and pick up their good habits and identify the bad habits that you have which are going to lead you to uh, pain, suffering and, uh, and disappointment. And another important point that uh, Og points out in his book that only a habit can subdue another habit. So if you're trying to change, improve your life and, uh, and, and um, stop, stop a bad habit, the only way you can stop a bad habit is by replacing it with another habit. You've got to swap out habits, something that not very many people understand. So if you want to stop smoking, you, know, you stop smoking, but you've got to replace that time or that habit with another habit and that other habit is up to you. So you have to pick something which is going to be compelling and is going to allow you to enjoy doing what you're doing. Which leads me on to uh, the next point in the book. And uh, Og talks about doing things with love and being love and not, uh, bas not basically uh, being in the world just to take but to give. That's a, a very strong message from the, uh, the greatest salesman in the world. He also talks about the important of, importance of persistence. Persistence is the ability to stick to what you're doing, to be stickable, to have stickability, and also to avoid despair, because despair can not only infect you and bring you down, but can also infect others and bring them down as well. There's nothing worse, nothing, nothing worse than a negative person in a sales team and uh, salespeople avoid negative people like the plague. So uh, if, you're, if you're negative, if you think you're a realist, then you're not going to uh, be successful in sales or in a sales environment because your negativity is not going to be welcomed, welcomed at all. Another beautiful thing of the book is he talks about the fact that we're all unique, we're all unique, we're all rare and we're all valuable, and to live each day as if it's your last. Something very important, something we, a lot of people forget, they think that there's gonna be unlimited tomorrows, and we all know that regardless of how old you are, how healthy you are, or how, uh, how secure you think you may be. Uh, life changes in an instant. Life can cha change in a heartbeat and we don't know where we'll be tomorrow, in what uh, condition we'll be and, uh, and what, our, uh, what our prospects are. So make the most of today. And he says that uh, if, you, uh, if you waste today, you will destroy a page of your book. So, very, very powerful imagery and very, very powerful messaging. 
He also harps on the importance to master your emotions. And he makes an awesome point, something that I've never considered before in my life. And he said that uh, human beings are the only animal on the planet that laugh, that can, uh, can laugh. So he says, make the most of every opportunity. You know, take time to laugh, not at other things, not at other people, but most importantly, learn to laugh at yourself and not to take life too seriously and not to get down on, uh, on, and disappointed on failure because failure is a, a stepping stone to success. He also talks about the, uh, the, the term that I hear a lot, but I also believe a lot, that uh, this too shall pass. So if you're having a bad time or a rough time in your life, always remember that this too shall pass. But the contrary also works as well, that if you're having a great life, if you're married, you're healthy, you're happy, uh, you're in, in work, and everything's going swimmingly well, this too shall pass as well. So don't get too comfortable and don't rest on your laurels. Make the most of every opportunity you have, knowing very well that all good times come to an end and all bad times come to, uh, to a new beginning. And let's just finish off now. He's got another couple of points here. It's, it's all about being productive and to have goals and not to set your goals and not to aim too low in life. Have a crack, have a go. And uh, I'll finish off with uh, the importance of action. He talks about the importance of action, taking action and not hesitating. He says the worst thing in the world is to hesitate. The greatest uh, lovers in the world learned very, very early in the piece that in the, uh, in the art of seduction, one must be bold and must, one must never, ever hesitate in their actions because once you hesitate, it's all lost. So let's finish off with a positive affirmation. I'm alive, I am well, and I feel absolutely great. To my friends and family, stay connected, stay well, stay relevant, and most importantly, read. Read as much as you can, because reading will introduce you to OPE, which is, the, which is other people's experience. And you can't go through life just living one experience you need to take advantage of many experiences and stand on giant's shoulders in order to see the future, to create your future, and to live a life which is worth living, which is fulfilling, and where you make your mark and you make a difference. Take care everybody, yasas, bye for now, and tomorrow I'll come to you from another vantage point with another message and wishing you all the very best on this glorious day, this still day, this peaceful day. Take care and yeah.